Welcome back, everyone, to Gameplay with Lewis Infinium. I am Lewis Infinium, and we're back with the Chaos playthrough. So, before we get started, I've been saying this in my past few videos. I know everything's really rough right now, but if you ever need anyone to talk to, feel free to join the Discord, hit me up, talk to someone there. You know, anything to either make you feel better or just get a little bit off your chest, we are all here for you. My goal is to build up a community that, even if it's person by person, to just make the world a better place and make sure everyone knows that they're not alone in this world. With that being said, let's get to burning down a particular world. <laughs> so, uh, this is my Chaos Force, and I do have Archeon back. I took a few turns to... Get him back and build up another stack, and I am going to torment the little dwarves. Let's see, those are. That's missile cavalry, so that is six. Look at me trying to figure this out and be all smart about it. Is that everyone? Cool, 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 cool. I don't think they want to come to me. So what we need to do... this up just so I can at least uh... this should be actually rather impressive of me that is the only thing I'm really concerned about is those fucking grudge throwers but I have A solution. Oh, shit, I forgot about them. Oh, really? Oh, shit. That motherfucker has range. Really, bitch. Damn it. All right. Uh, let's see.
Now I'm gonna take care of that fucking grudge throw. Just crash into the back of that. Back of the dogs. See if I can kill their leader. <laughs> As you just see this massive army just fall on him. I think I'm going to kill him, but this is going to be a, uh, this is going to be, and should be dying soon. There we go. He's wounded. That's all I really cared about. So, um, yeah. That was, uh, that was unique, definitely. Uh, 135 losses. To their 220. Well, since this isn't, um, <laughs> I mean, I honestly don't know how that stacks up. I know part of it was my fault with the fucking horseman and the grudge thrower, but, oh, that was, that was a, one of my better moves. That was one of my one of my big brain moves. Put the cavalry behind them and then just like, oh good, you're distracted. Throw the cavalry into the catapult. Which is something I'm gonna try and do a little bit more with the um, with the tactical battles, is try and be a little bit more smirt about them. Arcan got no kills. That makes me sad. I will have to fix that. But, um... But, yeah, so... Oh! My, uh, Chaos Spawn got 23 kills. Fascinating. That actually really is kind of interesting to me. I'm surprised they got that many kills. If I remember right, they weren't supposed to be that great. If I remember right. Now, that could be absolutely wrong. I know when the problems I'm going to run into, and I don't think I'm going to have that much of a problem with the uh, dwarves, is that their ranged units are probably what's going to tear me up. But after I build a building or two, it, it, oh. Go now. It is corrupt. that's not going to be a problem. And I do still have the uh, model that gives me four skill points. Mm. Oh, this is Archeon. Okay. Archeon. Archeon. 
Ooh, do I? Yes. Because I want to get to that. And I do like ruination. I am going to build up my armies to do kind of different things, but I do at least like to get Lightning Strike and the... Here, I'll actually trade it. I like to get Lightning Strike and Corruption first before I work on anything else. So... Let's see here. Yeah, I think I see how I'm going to build him. Okay. As the building I'm going to build is this one here. Once I get these, it's going to be a non-issue on how much damage I can do to them. Or I can... Where are... Oh yeah, so either way I'm gonna have to wait till four. So yeah. Let me and I'm gonna just show you what I do. Do 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 do. Hopefully that'll make this go a bit quicker. So I do have two full stacks. So it should at least keep me safe for a little while. I got they retreated. I wonder what the defenses are here. about it too. Wait a minute, I wonder if I raid while they're in circles. Nope. Sword of Cain has been claimed. Oh good, next turn you can build it. Unless I just go for this one and get the followers of corn. Do I want? So that's 120 armor. 51 and 40 melee attack and weapon strength. 120, 51, 40. 120, 57, 45. So it seems like these guys are just better except for armor. Leadership 94. Leadership is higher. 28 speed. 7 defense. 69 defense. Charge bonus is 24. 27. Oh. 55 melee defense is 74 what was it for them 40 so yeah it does seem like the plague warriors from Nurgle are going to be better off so I'm just going to get those next turn that's going to be brutal as hell and I have had a um a full stack of nothing but Plague Warriors of Nurgle, they walk through everything. 
or at least up north. Up north when it comes to Norska, they just like, hmm, nah. You need a boom. That just curious, how's that uh sorry feeling? Ah, we're gonna keep you encircled. The lure of dark promises. This should be entertaining. Are those elves? I believe they are. Oh, good. And I am going to. No, no this one. I can recruit three. And these things. Are expensive but they are very much so worth it actually while I am at it armor melee defense armor melee attack and weapon strength that I'm going to go with you. And what I'll probably do is I'll take a few turns uh, in between this episode and the next one. And I'm going to build up all three of my sacks. Is I'm going to make him my my Nurgle dude, so I'm going to change his name. Hmm, what shall we name him? What is a good Nurgle follower name? You know what? I am actually going to do this. I'm going to name him Typhus after the champion of Nurgle, just because I will remember that that is my Nurgle army. Uh, put you back on the move. Nope. Oh god. So hopefully they don't charge me and I'll be able to show this off. Because I'm essentially, especially because they're so weakened now and I wasn't really considering the fact, um, I am going to send just my Plague Warriors of Nurgle after um after them and just show how devastating they can be because it'll it'll be kind of funny it really will um this is going to be horrifying on so many levels i think this is this is just going to be bad so and for uh Archeon, the ever chosen i think i'm gonna make him a chaos undivided leader because that would make sense don't charge me i want to make this hurt
they are a bit slow though. Which honestly I'm kind of okay with. Now let's speed this up. I like how their morale is already tanked. And they're broken. Not necessarily the victory I was expecting, but just cause. They're not going to catch them, but that's honestly not how I was expecting to win that battle. <laughs> No losses on any side. They're just like, nah, nah fuck this. We, we y'all can have it. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. And that's actually once I get back to the map. Oh, that was actually quite beautiful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Uh, Oh, that was funny. I don't know why that was as funny to me as that is. I, uh. I have no clue why that was as funny to me as it was, but it was just like, we're charging, it's just three units. And I went away! I mean, to be fair, they did suffer a shitload of a tree. Oh, money. Uh, let's see. And lightning strike. So, we get Deadly Blade. The point specials. Because the important thing is I'm going to end up using my hero to assassinate. Dark servant. I don't you know. And your followers come to worship me. I'm gonna enjoy beating the shit out of you. Um so yeah, that is where I'm gonna leave it. With uh one and two half armies. Um this has been Lotus Infinium. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And just remember, folks, if you're going through something and just need someone to talk to, or you know, just, or if you want to come by and help someone else out, I'm trying to build up the community for that. We're always here. We're always wanting to help people and just you know, be there for them. It's always important, especially going on right now with all the, well, uh, chaos and, uh, and just negativity in the world, just to have at least a bright light in all the darkness. And that's what I hope to, uh, hope to build up. But with all that being said, the most important thing of all, I hope you all have a very, very wonderful day.